In this video, we'd like to talk about copying formulas using the double click trick. Now, there's something interesting in 2013 that is new about double clicking and copying a formula. But let's review the basics. Here's a formula, F2. I need to copy this down. So I take my selection cursor and I point to that square box. And in the corner is the fill handle. When I see my crosshair or angry rabbit, I can double click and send it down. Now, how did it know? It looked to the left. And when it saw an empty cell, it knew to stop. This will work if there's stuff to the right. Also, double click and send it down. Absolutely awesome. Now, there's a hierarchy to this. It first, before looking to the left or the right, it looks below. So if I want to edit this formula, so I need to change it and round this because there's some extraneous decimals. When I Control Enter and double click and send it down, the stuff below takes precedence of stuff to the right or to the left. So if that's the case, I then would have to do something like this. Ah, but let's see two interesting things that happened in 2013. Actually, I don't need all these extra rows. I'm going to delete them. In earlier versions, it required that you have a contiguous range of data. So in older versions, if you double clicked, it would go down to there and stop. But check this out. As long as there's some way that the data is connected to some other larger data set, it seems like Microsoft has programmed it to work in this situation. So when I double click and send it down, it goes all the way down and skips these empty cells. In essence, it's it has a, a way of seeing the whole data set, right? Because there's field names at the top. I don't know how it's programmed, but that's new. It didn't do that in earlier versions. And check this out. It even works for a whole column. So if I double click, I was stunned. Someone in class last quarter decided to do this. And there was an empty column. I was like, how did that work? right? And I guess that what they've done is they program as long as the formula can see the whole data set, right? it's connecting here and here. So it's got some field names. It works. That is absolutely amazing. All right, we'll see you next trick.